Hey everybody, it's Primrose and welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while but I hope you guys are all doing well. And today, I wanted to share with you this beautiful trailing plant here, which is my Sedum Morganianum. It's a succulent plant and it's been getting a lot of compliment lately. So I thought I'm going to share with you guys the potential of this plant. If you are thinking of growing it indoors, I'd say go for it. It's a very easy going plant in, in my experience. So um, I was going to trim this back today because, let me show you here guys. This lower part here, which is not getting hit by direct sunlight, it's getting very leggy and it's not looking nice. But I have some strands here that are getting plenty of direct sunlight. And as you can see, it's more compact. It's not perfect, but um, as a sun-loving plant being grown indoors, it's not bad. It's not looking bad at all. So the macrame hanger that I made for this, it's made of a very thin material. And I, I worry a bit because I used to turn this plant around at least once a week. That way all sides can get a good amount of direct sunlight. But now it is getting very heavy so I stopped doing that. And I am kind of worried that this might snap any time and um, this beauty would crash down. I'm going to end up losing all of these beautiful beads. So I kind of loop some thicker material here and um, that goes underneath the pot that way it could help supporting its weight I've been putting off repotting this plant because it's gonna be a lot of work and I'm always afraid to lose a lot of beads because because it is very fragile the the beads could snap off very easily and as for the sun, sunlight uh, light needs it is uh, positioned here in my south facing window And, um, hang on. As for soil, to be honest with you guys, it has never been repotted ever. It's, it is still in its nursery pot. And that is why the top is looking a little bit bare because a lot of babies are coming out. But the soil is so compact. Yeah, it's, the soil feels so, so hard. And um, yeah, like I said, I contemplated repotting this many times, but I thought I'm just gonna enjoy the beauty of this. So I keep pushing it aside, but I know one day it's gonna happen. And uh, as for feeding, I feed all of my plants with a seaweed based fertilizer. And I do, I do not want the hassle of getting a fertilizer for my succulents and another for my uh, indoor plants. But this one, I try to give it a well diluted fertilizer because uh, two years back, I had a very bad mealy bug infestation uh from all of my succulents so i tr i try to keep the nitrogen content of my fertilizer as low as possible so in the summer uh, this 
be the beads kind of produce that blushing color and it's beautiful and that's what I like about um, succulents in the summertime they just look different and as for watering I water this plant in winter time at least once every three weeks that is why here we can see some um, dehydrated beads but that's fine I don't worry so much about it so these are all like all um, the old beads are drying off and that's normal and in the summer I try to keep up with my watering because it get it dries up really quickly so at least once every seven to ten days So there you go guys, my Sida Marganianum. And what else? I think that's all I can share about this plant guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!